Hello comrades, welcome back to Commander Brito Raskiski. Today we are reacting once again to Oversimplified. We haven't done this in like almost a year, so I'm very excited. This is about the first Punic War, comrades. Today we are reacting to part one. Part two will come out around next week. So subscribe to, you know, get notified about that. Anyway, check out the original video, link in the description, and let's begin. Oh, Barcelona. Sure have a lot of okay, comrades, so obviously this is between Rome and Carthage, I want to say. This is like back... What, what, wait, hold up, what is happening? <laughs> I'm ignoring that, what the fuck? Is it really not? Comrades, Rome is, uh, Rome is the most overrated society, probably in history. How did we come to be? Wow, my son, boy. Let me take you on a journey to this side of the room. Oh, comrade, they got projectors in the ancient times? The Holy shit! It begins with these beautiful baby boys going to town on some she wolf mommy milkers. That's gross. You're gross! Uh. Comrade, what do, why does it have eight nipples? I thought animals had six. Sorry, son. Inaccuracies. You're not gross. <laughs> They're called Romulus and Remus. And when they Romulus up, and Remus, comrades, you know, you know. They founded Rome. But there was just one problem. You know, comrades, when I visited Italy today, the first hands-on impression I got was that it's just dirtier Switzerland. Which, I still like it, though. <laughs> oh, heavens no. Romulus caked Remus's skull in with a shovel. Here's a picture. Comrade, why is this video taking so many turns? What the fuck? I know. Look at his face. When's the part where we become the... Comrade, he looks like the fucking, uh, Star Wars shit, where he's shooting with the electricity. I'm talking like a... Real Comrade, look at these giga chads. Yes, sir. So we invited some neighboring cities over for okay. a great feast, and then we literally kidnapped all of their women. Here's a picture. <laughs> look at that one. She's like. <laughs> this is messed up. Systematic rape. What the You're fuck? Oh, sorry, sorry. Comrade, this is outrageous. I promise. So then, finally. After centuries of monarchy, those tyrannical kings started getting a little too big for their britches. Yes, the britches, so we comrades. They were also stealing bitches. Is that when all the killings stopped? You know, comrades, the Roman Republic, it's, you know, you know, you know, comrades. I don't know much about Roman history. I know about, like, the big wars. I know who, like, their enemies were. I know some of the rulers, but I don't know That's about, like, the exact sir, political baby. shit. I'm not a we fucking nerd. Oh my god, comrades, the taking shit. To be honest though, beating an Italian in a war is not very hard, comrade. So these aren't that big of achievements. Comrade, calm the fuck down, comrade. You know, this low-key child abuse. So Saturn literally ate his own son seconds after he was born. I don't want to see a picture. Here's a picture. Dad, look at that. That's messed up. What? Are we really this on Comrades, comrades, the Rome, what the fuck? Comrades, what? Comrades, I, 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 I comrades, this show, like, what the fuck? Comrades, it just keeps escalating, just more disgusting, more disgusting. Eating children? Low-key pedophilia, but let's not, yeah, let's not so talk about that. When we use communal toilets, when we all fart and poo together in one big stick. Okay, he has just water. made it more, more, yeah, he has yeah. stopped it. We would. <laughs> okay, I did not need to see visuals. I did not need a visualization. I don't want to be Roman. So, comrades, why are grown men pooing around little Sorry, kids? You're not weird. I'm sure you're probably fine. Comrades, what am I watching right now? <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> oh, so retarded. The Roman Republic. The nation that, since its foundation, <laughs> had been stabbing necks all the way down the Italian peninsula. Comrade, they have been doing a bit more than that, I'm sure. That ruled the known world. Not yet anyway. This is a relatively juvenile realm. Still just a regional power. Yeah, Comrade... I don't know anything about the beginning of Rome. Western Mediterranean. Oh wait, no, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is between Carthage. This is where they wanted to take Sicily? Something like that. It's, it's, I know the war is on Sicily, but I, I don't know what the goal of the war was. When some Phoenicians in Tyre had a mega surplus of goods. What even, yeah, what, I, I'm, a Carthage I know nothing about. What even was Carthage? So it was Phoenicians. I, I didn't know. I don't know really anything. Dominant trading power in the region. And to support their growing trade network, the Phoenicians established a number of colonies. One of oh, them and it was Carthage. Carthage. Okay. I, I get what's happening now. Carthage its life as a Phoenician trade colony. And the Carthaginians were actually Phoenicians. Or, if you're a Latin-speaking Roman, 
they were punic. Hence the Punicus comrades, comrades, comrades. Imagine, imagine being a global trade empire and these bitches, Italians, call you Punicus. <laughs> Sorry, comrades. Drink some water. Over the centuries, Carthage gradually expanded and became the region's face of Carthage was quite big, you know, comrades. I respect Carthage. Democratic Republic with its own Senate and judiciary. But there were also some pretty hefty differences between the two. While Rome was big at the farm, I imagine Carthage always being more civilized for some reason. I don't know why, but in the ancient times, I always imagine the more Muslim countries being a lot more civilized than the European ones. I, I don't know if that's a stereotype, but that's just how I always imagine it. The Carthaginians, on the other hand, just like their Phoenician forefathers, had built their power through trade and Oh, wow. They went here and there, selling ivory tusks, gold, and slaves. And as a result, they were... Rolling Slaves? <laughs> oh no. Comrades. Hey yo, comrade, that statue, that looks like Giga Chad, you know. Is that what he's based? Is that what he based it off, comrades? Plant fertility. Oh boy, these pigs aren't looking too hot. What do you mean by that? What do you this child abuse? Comes, you know, I reckon none of this should actually happen. Oversimplified is just likes abusing children. <laughs> no, we'll try that second. As a result of all their trading, Carthage had emerged as one of the Mediterranean superpowers. But wait okay. a second. Rome? What the hell I'm imagining that? Carthage lost the war. I don't know anything country. about like the Punic oh, War. That's not my that's but not me. I Ah the no balance of power. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about like um, Punic Wars. At least I know what I know roughly what they were about, but I don't really know anything about the countries involved or like the strategies. Okay. Oh shit. That was practically destined to turn Ooh. sour. See, Whoa. Whoa. Where they like to aggressively expand their boundaries. Mm -hmm. often oh, and they fucking did, you bet, comrades. Kind of like when you had to kill your neighbor. Because you knew eventually, they were going to try to kill you first. <laughs> you know, I should do that right now. Uh, cut this out of the video. So if you put a very strategically important island between them, well, 2 plus 2 equals war. Comrade, don't mean that's how mathematics works. Oh god, so do they go over war? They go over war because of that little unclaimed bit? Or is that another country that they just didn't draw? Something like that. That they've never done an honest day's work in their lives. And the That's true, probably, most likely. Look at those simple minded brutes. But they've never sacrificed a baby in their lives. That's yeah. definitely not true. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, it's two countries on Sicily. Fucking hell. Messana. You know, comrades, maybe killing everyone on Sicily is a good idea. I don't know. Just a just a suggestion. His successor said, "Sorry, fellas, we don't need any big burly men with sharp sticks anymore." Big man holding their sticks, comrades. Fuck off, comrades. You know, they are very simple creatures. Just big man walking around with a big stick. I respect it. And said, hey man, we are but poor little buff boys without a home. May we come in? Aw, oh, poor fellas. Sure thing. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Massacre all of us. No! No! We promise. Oh no. The Lamartines then massacred all of them. Well, not all of them, just the men. And they stole their homes and families. Ha! This Fucking hell! <laughs> yeah, imagine your husband dies and some bitch ass Sicilian comes in. Oh no, it's Stanislav. Oh no. He is quite right. You find a point, you know. She's spitting. Oh god. That's so sad, comrades. Uh, the ancient times is just pillaging and pillaging. You bitches playing pagan map IRL. Oh crap. They're fighting back? What do we do? Quick, we'll convince the Carthaginians to come and save us. Oh no! We're in trouble. Who is it? <laughs> Comrades. You know, of course, this is actually how Italians get each other in war. Just I act really fucking gay. Rubber belts. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? If oh no. If I was a big strong empire, 
I think I would like to be seduced. You know, I reckon the British would like that. I don't know much about like the Mongols. The Mongols would prefer to just, you know, you know, you know. Well, let's not discuss the Mongols. Sicilian was 250 years. Fucking hell. So Carthage promptly answered the Mamertines' cry for help and said to force the garrison Messana. Oh, wow. As it turned out, however, some within the ranks of the Mamertines weren't too happy with the occupying Carthaginians. And they asked the Romans to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, okay, so these are the war starts. These bitch ass big men with big sticks, comrades. Oh, no, no, no. Triggering an all out war with Carthage. Oh, no. Just finished conquering the Italian peninsula. So they were kind of tired. Plus, the Oh, I like the little rubber ducky. Good shit. Never made a leap like that before. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. The exhausted Romans would probably sit this one out. Let me guess they don't fall. See, that is not me. I know history. Oh god. Well, there's something you gotta understand about Rome. See, okay. as a republic, they were hellbent on preventing any one man from ever gaining too much power. So they had uh consuls? Rome had two. Wait, they had two who shared power. I didn't know they had two. I only served for one year at a time. I, was there a point where they had one? I didn't know they ever had two. But one year terms. Fuck you know. Were noble, but had an interesting side effect. The consuls knew they had just one year to try. Oh. So they just invaded a bunch of fuckers. Genocide. Uh. You know, arsonide. Whatever else. Military victory, of course. The Roman political system basically oh, ended up wow. encouraging these consuls to go out and be yeah. as aggressive as your Italian grandmother when you don't eat all the spaghetti. And so the glory. I am not Italian. Don't mix me up with that. I am Polish and the Russian. And in they went. Wow. Upon the arrival of the Romans, what a what a shit start to the war. Amongst the confusion, were forced to leave. Now, in contrast to Roman aggression, the Carthaginian military had a slightly different philosophy. So, are they were more pacifist? Listen up. If you want to grow up. Well, no, don't worry, they were pacifist in ancient years, times. There's a but few things you have to understand. If you fail to succeed on the battlefield, that's a crucifixion. Wow. Fucking hell. This is also before Jesus, comrades. So, they were kind of stealing well, Jesus' thunder. Weren't you meant to be in Messana? Yeah, but the Romans showed up. So, you just left? Sure yes. Did. Comrades, why is everyone in this war such a pussy? Better believe that's a crucifixion. <laughs> the Roman consuls were <laughs> so for stupid, people, and therefore tended to be aggressive go-getters. And the Carthaginians didn't. Oh, uh, so does Rome purely win this war by just like I don't know what to call it? Does do they just win this war by just like heart? I guess they just win it by like thinking they're better. This dynamic is helpful for understanding some of the crazy things that happened during the Punic Wars. Okay. So tell us about it. Crossed over to Messana. So hot today. Sorry, I keep like fucking pattern. touching myself. Hit that panic button. Don't take that out of context. This turn of events was. Okay, so they invade, and I reckon. So th does this war end with the Romans taking Sicily? To kick the Romans off their eyes. That's like half of Rome's land. That's a, like that's a, the Sicily's quite big. This isn't your island. Come out of there at once. Okay. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> they're gonna come with the army. <laughs> no, no, oh no, not, it, not the horse, they got the racers. No, oh no. Out the Roman legions came to engage. Yeah, the, are, the Romans probably winning, comrades. I don't know how navally competent the, name, the Romans were. You never hear about the Roman navy, really. The Battle of Messana, whether intended or not, by going to help the Mamertines. The two sides had just slipped into an all-out war. With the initial Roman victory, towns across Sicily... Do they, when do the Romans take Sardinia and Corsica from them? Because I know they do get it. Wow. Pussy Hall Italian switching sides once again, I see. Okay, okay. Makes sense. So Aggregentum. Oh shit, the Romans were just advancing so fast, what the fuck? Okay. Because this was the first time Rome had been fighting outside the Italian peninsula across oh. the world, they struggled to supply their forces. Oh shit, supply lines. Supply lines are very important, you know, it's very hard to supply shit. 
They had to forage for food, leaving them open. Oh to no. Hatch. And when Carthaginian reinforcements arrived, creating a double siege, things got really bad. A double siege? They starved each other for months. <laughs> until until nobody could take it anymore. And they all finally came out for battle. Wait, that war elephants? Here's the report. I thought it was like some Indian <laughs> shit. Sir. What the fuck? He killed 30,000 while only suffering 7,000 losses? Oh That's shit. That's amazing. We're the best. Holy and fuck. Carthage was fucked, comrades. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Were the worst. They did win, though. One, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh no. That's confusing. Yes, uh, sir. So are we the best or the worst? That's a good question, actually. Yes, like, if you lose a fuck ton of people between... Because they were aggressive go -getting. I'm guessing by the end of the war the Romans win, so I guess this is and a minor victory. Up the possibility of conquering the entire island. Fucking but hell. They also suffered very heavy losses, and it was clear they couldn't sustain a campaign if they couldn't supply their troops. That's Here's true. Sicily was an island. Yeah. Islands oh, this is the Romans Navy, right? This song about the Navy? navy would be vital for yep. the troops and winning the war. Here. Yeah, I never you never hear about the Roman Navy really. Was the rooms. I think you can see the problem. I am Leonidas. Leonidas? Where is Mario music playing? What is this advert? Shit! See any pirates? I don't know, I'm blind. Yeah, Carthage was a big boy, comrades, you cannot deny. And so Rome had to figure out exactly what to do about all this water. Come on, men. We're not Shh. gonna let some pansy candy ass water get in the way of our. Let me guess, the water will get in the way. <laughs> George! Oh no, oh, oh. Comrade. Uh. That's so sad. Comrades, I will tell your children. A bigger boat. What's a boat? I don't know. If the Romans <laughs> oh, no. to win this war and obtain Sicily, there was only one thing for them to do. So they just have to learn how to make a navy. Isn't there more than one Punic War? Wait, does does Rome lose this one and then win the second one? I'm confused about how this scratch. From scratch. But we don't even know how. Never mind how to fight with one. Don't worry, Hank. We're up to the challenge. Come on, guys. We're Romans. Yep. And Romans aren't afraid of anything. <laughs> So I'm kind of scared of that as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't want to see that ever again in my life. In the end, they had a bit of luck on their side. A Carthaginian Queen Quirin ended up accidentally on Italian soil. The Romans found it. What are the fucking chances of that? Well, the <laughs> being built, the Romans trained rowers on land. And oh. would you believe it? The Romans put together a full fighting fleet of 120 oh, warships shit. in just two months. A staggering feat. Fuck it out! Yeah, yeah well, well done! That's not me! If the what the fuck? A war fleet from scratch in two months, then why does it take you half a year to make a video? Nah, that's actually a fair point! My that's a fair point! Driver. Start actually working! <laughs> I'm joking, I know he what works a lot of these. How on earth did the Romans learn how to build a war fleet? That's a fair point, actually. I'm pretty sure they were probably shit scared. Well, how on earth did they get the blueprint, Carl? That's also a fair point. But I'll tell you what, if you're worried about- Oh no 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 no! <laughs> I know this is the sponsor! <laughs> I cause he always changes up his voice kind of, he always like, he changes up his voice, is this what, VPN shark, not VPN? Yeah, 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 fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> look, 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 <laughs> you are not getting sponsors from me. NordVPN.com, it's NordVPN channel. You know, because I do not, I, I, I ain't getting paid by this company, so I'm not giving the company any, you know, you know. A war fleet. So now the Romans have a navy, and it's um, time to bow, put bow, it to bow, the test. Bow, bow. But how does one wage ancient naval warfare? I don't actually know. Oh, they didn't have cannons, did they? Rams on the front. Oh. So all had to do was the That's getting so close, what the fuck? Easy as pie. And so... How did the, f wait, how did the ships have enough force to like... Cause you cannot just go You know how they do this, you cannot do this, look at the animation Ships don't fucking move like that, so wait, how do they do that? That don't make sense to me, but okay Jimmy giving Scipio Lipara Wanted to join the Romans As he entered the harbor, however, he found himself trapped Oh no, the Romans are dead 
<laughs> oh shit. The Romans may have had a brand new fleet, but when it came to engaging in actual combat, Romans showed Comrades, they're getting kinda of fucked. It's uh, this is not even, you know, close. The Carthaginian rowers had nicer abs. That is kind of true, I won't lie. I'm not gay, but you know you know. Seamanship? The Carthaginians were Pause. and the Romans were wetter. Yeah, comrades, Rome. The Romans were so sad. So badly that the consul Scipio was given a nickname, Asina. Asina. You know what that means? Just drop the Ina. Wow, comrade, they literally just went. You are ass, comrade. Stand up to this Carthaginian superpower. Well, there's something you've got to understand about the Romans. Hey, eh? you know, you know. Carthaginian ship and copied its design. That wasn't a one-off thing. Copying their enemies was as Roman as punishing murderers by sewing them into a leather pouch with a monkey, snake, and rooster, and then throwing them into a river, which is a thing they did. Wait, what was I talking about? Now, nah, fair enough, folk comrades. Like, don't be a bitch. Like, <laughs> copying their enemies. Many of the most famous Roman inventions were actually borrowed. Aqueducts, chariot. Wait, rooster, really? Aqueducts? Houses. I always thought aqueducts was. Warfare. Sorry comrades, my bat my uh, storage are now. Let's continue. And they copied the designs for themselves. However, they wouldn't just copy it. They would advance it, finding ways to adapt mm -hmm. it as perfectly as possible. And in the case of naval warfare, boom, boom, boom. the Romans realized if they wanted to beat the Carthaginians at the they were they, they would have to so they had to make new weaponry. Combat on land. So did they like make bridges? Water. But what if they said we could somehow Turn a sea battle into a land battle. How Sounds the fuck? <laughs> it does sound well, crazy. They made a couple of tweaks to their warship. And look, here they come again. They must love getting their asses kicked. Uh, That's probably so, true. What's that tall thing sticking out of their ships? Oh, now is that a bridge? I don't know. They really are idiots. Look at that thing. Oh no. Comrades is chatting so much shit. Oh, um, look at them slowly approaching. Oh no! Oh no! No! Take a picture of it! I mean, how stupid can you be? Let's just add a big wooden tower to our ship that'll weigh us down and blow us over the No! No! I mean, what does that thing even do? Bruh. <laughs> oh my god, Kavras, yeah, yeah, Roman, Roman sweep. I like the eyes on the ships, is that an actual thing they had? Oh shit. Oh wow. Holy shit, fair enough. Wow, comrades, the Romans, they had sexy brains. What really matters is what's on the inside. Okay, at least you're not saying that's me. Please go out with me. And with that, the Romans, who had only just recently began dabbling in the art of naval combat, thanks to their ingenious corvus, first battle, first use of corvus, ah. Class, the Mediterranean seafaring superpower, the Carthaginians were stunned. Come on, I reckon they were like, why didn't, why didn't they copy it? Why don't they just copy it? You better believe that's a good fiction, hey! <laughs> okay, so they controlled the ocean. You know, the motion in the ocean. Surely, the Romans were now free to unleash their aggression all over the So what, what, what was the problem? There's a whole part two to this, so I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen. We're gonna go inside these walls. Fair enough. <laughs> Come on, guys. Stop. Okay, comrades. So, I have just realized that the last five minutes of this video has not recorded because my storage ran out and I didn't realize the camera was off. But uh, you know what? I still watched the whole video, so I'll give my opinions right now. That, this was a very good video. It was funny. It, um, it, it showed a lot more shit, comrades, um, because I, I didn't know much about Rome. I will say at some points I do feel like the jokes drag out a little too much. I don't know if the video should have been 27 minutes. This might have been able to be like a 20 minute video. Um, that's my only real major criticism of it is that the jokes were just a bit too long. Um, but yes comrades, that was a great video. I enjoyed it a lot. Make sure to subscribe comrades, leave a like and make sure to let communism strike again.